The following video may contain blood, gore, violence, and some foul language. If you don't like that stuff, stop watching the video now. Welcome back everyone, Hardyman here, back for another episode of Fallout 4. And last episode, uh, we decided to take up a quest from, let's see, oh, is that guy that we met in the Dugout Inn, I guess the first time we went there, a long, long time ago, and, uh, yeah, apparently he was not the guy who was going to give us the, the, the quest or the mission or whatever, uh, some other guy, looked like a, I don't know, scientist of some sort, and, yeah, apparently they, they lost a package, in air quotes, and uh, we had to go retrieve it from some pretty nasty raiders, if I do say so myself. A couple of them were, were quite difficult to actually kill. So that wasn't that fun, because actually, they actually killed me once. But uh, we got it, so we're going to go, I guess, back to him? Is it part of that quest? Yeah, return. So, should be all that we have to do for that. Unless they have another quest for me, maybe. According to local history, the institute formed from the remains of the CIT. Interesting. It's a very interesting, like, radiation suit. Wonder if I'm gonna, like, ever get my hands on one of those. Because that would be interesting to give, like, to, uh, I don't know. What settler in my settlements could use that? Eh, probably not, like, a trader. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, that guy, yep, he's coming online. I'm not doing anything, I'm going inside. Don't have to worry about me. Golly. But yeah, probably gonna call this recording session but after this. Oh. She's not missing, mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your sister mean... is missing and I want her found. Oh. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not Mother, a... Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find him. I guess we're going to know uh Again. I can't What we're going to do next? Don't care what happens to your sister. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything Come on. just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, how dare wow. you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? Okay. So did you find out what happened to the courier? Uh yeah, some raiders. If your father were here. Hardly worth my time. Just a few raiders who ambushed him. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Uh, all gone, didn't find any. Why is it important? What's so important about this serum? You're getting paid to follow orders. Your orders were to get it back. That's all you need to worry about. Hmm. I kind of want to know what the serum's about. I wonder if I could give it to somebody. I don't know. Give him the serum, there I guess. There's only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next. Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not going to be happy about it. Come on. Golly. I wonder what it was. I, I bet I could have, you know, kept it, maybe sold it. Uh, maybe I could have taken it to that uh, person in Good Neighbor and she could have maybe told me some stuff Jack, about it. I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find him. Who is he talking to? I can always count on you. Why wow. Why you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to She's standing with. right here. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh... A little flighty. Uh -huh. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Okay. I mean, sounds pretty easy. Sounds like a piece of cake. I don't know where she's gone. 
but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Okay, third rail, got it. I know the third rail. I'll ask around there. Okay. Yeah, I think we went there, what was it? One of the live streams? Uh, cause we're, that's, yeah, we were looking for wood and I thought maybe someone in Good Neighbor might have some, but unfortunately they did not. Or at least, I don't remember. Eh, yeah, I don't think so. I think it was just a place in Diamond City and was it Great Garden? And then I think later on I found some more, I don't like this guy coming to, like towards me. Uh, I think I found some more at the Abernathy Farms. So, we have three sources, so that's pretty good. Okay, so let's go to Good Neighbor and go to the third rail. And, uh, hopefully someone knows where this, uh, dude's sister's at. Hopefully, anyway. Because I don't want to be, like, searching around. Okay. Maybe she's even here. Who knows? Okay. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really spend too much time after I saw it was like some type of nightclub. I was like, probably no wood here, or at least not the yeah, wood that I'm looking for. Don't bother the other patrons. Don't bother the other patrons. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Who do we need to talk to? Oh, crap. Music. Hey, hey, shut up, lady. Drifter, drifter. What's your drifter? Can't say I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering hey, how long this? it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, oh. I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? Oh, it's a fern. Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with good neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, pal. Golly. You're preaching about the Adam or looking for a friend. You've got the wrong guy. You Most? need a hired gun. Then maybe we can talk. Uh... What what is what is that all about? Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised though. That's how it goes when you run with the gunners. Right. So you were a part of the gunners? Never heard of the gunners. What? I have who heard of the gunners. One of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Golly. There was no question mark after that. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but it never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? Um... I don't know. Always this suspicious? Are you always this suspicious? Hey, you approached me. And frankly, I'm taking a huge risk being out here in the Commonwealth in the first place. So I'm not about to leave anything in chance. Which brings me back to my original question. Can I trust you? I mean... What's make offer? I'll just go. If my caps aren't good enough to answer that question, I could take them somewhere else. All right, all right. Need to get your panties in a bunch. Tell you what. Price is 250 caps. Up front and non-negotiable. For what? Take less. It's, he said non-negotiable, but everything's negotiable. Would you take two hundred? Something wrong with your hearing? Oh golly! I just told you I'm not going to negotiate. So are you in, or should I get back to my drink? 
Uh, I don't know what this guy's on about, so I'm gonna no say way. no. I don't trust you. Sticks and stones, pal. You change your mind, you know where to find me. Okay. Well, have fun drinking yourself into a stupor. I've got to find some people. A oh, good thing she she stopped what? singing. Another one of you mercs looking for McCree. Drifter. He's in the back room. I'm not Sweet looking. <laughs> now it's just talk to McCready. Yeah. Does he? Oh, does he know about her? Well. Excuse me, miss. Hmm. What's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I mean, I I really didn't like you know, hear it, that well, but I'll say it was lovely. I love the song. It was perfect. Oh well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now there's something special about you, isn't there? But don't tell me. Let me guess. Vault suit. Ah, that's it. You had that, um, I'm the smartest one here and I know it posture. There's something so irresistible about intelligence, don't you think? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? Um, let's see here. It's none of these. I'm looking for somebody. What do you think? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Uh, let's see here. Ooh, flirt. Interesting. Uh, I j I'll, I'll flirt with this person later. I got business to attend to. Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? Uh, she's missing. She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Okay. Um. Please, please tell me anything you know. Please tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. Oh. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Imogene, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mm, this intense. appeals to the community people? Some women find that irresistible. Pam! Uh oh. Would you come over here a minute? Who? Who is this? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? Oh. No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Mm, Brother Thomas. Yes. Oh. That's right. This... The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. Ah. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I okay. hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Okay, so now we know that these pill of the community people are jerks. Down the stairs. Okay, so we're we're gonna go pay them another little visit here, and possibly uh, shoot some people in the face. Just a little bit of shooting in the face. May, you know, ask nicely. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so let's see here. Yep. Oh, there we go. Go to there. Ooh, what is that gun? A Gauss rifle. Incredible and devastating speed. Be charged. Hmm. wonder how I get that. Need to figure that out. Looks pretty cool. Especially whenever it's in, like, you know, high resolution. And not being, like, down res into, like, oblivion. Okay. So, let's see here. Golly. I was so close to, I you know, the stuff. Oh. What do you find? Oh. People shooting. What we got? Did you find, did you find him? Welcome, neighbor. Are these free? We're always glad to see a new face around here. I mean, I'll take them. Thank right you. This way, and I'll be happy to oh. tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. Uh, talk hey. to him. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Shit, shit. You ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? What the? What's happening? 
I have no idea. What's happening? Uh, I need, I need some information. I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Um, I need to see I her. I just need to make sure she's okay. Are you taking me to her, or, or what are you doing? Are you, did you stop talking to me? Hey. Hi. I haven't forgotten that you wanted to find out what our group is all about. We call ourselves the Pillars of the Community. Yeah, I know about that. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth. Yeah, you said this you already. be part of this exciting future. Step right this way and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. I need to know about Imogene, please. I'm looking for Imogene Cabot. I already told you, Imogene can't have any visitors right now. Um, I'm not leaving until I find her. I'm not leaving without seeing her. You can't see her. She, uh, can't come out of her room right now. Not that it's any of your business, but... Uh, it is my business. She and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. Um, are you holding her prisoner? Oh, what are you doing, guy? What is... I'm going in there. Wait, where's she at? Is she in there or is she behind here? Oh, yeah, she looks like she may be in here. Is there a way I can get around? Uh, ooh, wait, there we go. I don't really care about anything. I can, I can pick this. Uh, let's see here. Oh, they're all angry. Uh, it's right there. There we go. Yes. Okay. Let's do that. You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. Uh... That's right. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. What makes you think I need to be rescued? Uh... Did you ask to be locked what? up? Did you ask to be locked in here? No, of course not. I could have left whenever I chose. I was just waiting to see if Thomas would come to us. Oh crap! Are they shooting me? I thought it could force me to join. Hey, I need I need to get out of this conversation. Uh, exit. No. Get Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. Well, all all your little friends here are going to be dead. Just to let you know. Oh wow, she is. We'll get through this. Okay. And let's do one onto you. And there we go. Oh, she's dead? No, she's good. Hey, hey, hey. Get get back. And shoot him in the head a couple times. There you go. Take that bullet right into your nostril. Okay. I mean, at least she's on my side in, like, the whole fight here. I mean, I'll take that cigarette carton. And all that. Why not? They're not gonna need them. They're, they're dead. Okay. So what do we have here? You're dead. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay, so about leaving with I, me. I'll never hear the end of this for mother. Really? You're just gonna stay here with all these dead bodies? Doesn't seem like the greatest. Eh, but whatever. I'll take all your clothes. And thank you. 
for all of your stuff. So you got any technical documents that I can, uh, you know, take? Oh, there we go. There's one. I love how that's the one thing that they're like, yeah, it's not stealing. You're totally allowed to take those. Golly. Let me sleep in this bed for an hour. Get my health back. Okay. Yep, we, we straight up murdered all these people. Let's see. Dog meat doing any stuff back here? Oh, is that a dead body? No, it's just some grass. Oh, that's sad. Okay, so let's look back here. Uh, yeah, y'all aren't going to need this food or these pillows. Ooh, lots of bottle caps. Ooh, they may... It seems like they may have been, uh... Having some type of racket here. Looks like they were just trying to maybe take everyone's stuff. If I had to guess, that's what it would be. Is they were trying to... Like, uh... I don't know. Pitch everyone that they would be having a better life if they gave all their stuff to them, maybe? That's, you know, typical cult-type tactics, if I do recall. I'll take all of your stuff, though. Because, you know... Well, I mean, I guess, technically, what I did was kind of a jerk thing. Because probably all these people, again, were just, like, you know, swayed in through that guy. But, I mean, you have to, you have to be a little bit more resistant, people. Golly. Okay, so we're... Let's go back to Cabot House, I guess. And, uh... Tell him that, uh, I mean, she's okay. She's just going to be, you know, surrounded by a bunch of dead bodies for uh, the foreseeable future. Until she returns. Okay. So, let's see what he wants to do with that information. And, I don't know, we'll see. Oh. What? what we got here? Uh oh. Switch to single sideband modulating. Can you hear me? <coughs> Not now. Oh Edward, my God! It's switch happening. over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? What's What's happening here? How's this? Oh, <laughs> that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Uh oh. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that. Uh oh. For God's sake, Sammy. The doorway, right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got Lorenzo. It. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Duh. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Who are you again? What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Hmm. Eh, whatever. I found your sister. I found Emma Jean. She's fine. Oh, yes. Good. Thank God. At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency. Isn't that right? Yeah. Here. I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. Probably. Some of them had used the undiluted serum. It 
could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What is this serum? What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. Oh. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. Well, that just sounds awesome. But uh, how you 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 beat me in age? I don't if you're like 400 that. 400 years old. Then you were born before the Great War. Yes, I think you were too. I'd say mid 21st century. Sure, why not? That's right. I was in cryo sleep until recently. Interesting. We'll have to talk more about that later. But time presses. Is there anything else before we get going? Um, what's the source of it? Where do you get this serum from? My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him for his own safety as well as ours. Jack, are you sure it's wise telling him all this? In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid, homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. Okay. What type of abilities? Exactly what abilities does he have? Uh, enhanced strength, unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. Oh, and a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. That's why I've built a dampening field into his cell. Which is why we really need to stop these intruders before they turn it off. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When okay. we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Uh, got it. Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. Okay. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free... There will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Okay. Well, I'm going to also go back to Sanctuary Hills and, uh, you know, empty out the inventory real quick. And probably have to call it there. So let's see here. Let's go to Sanctuary Hill. What enemies? Where? Ready? Let's go. What are you Just doing? Go. Are we running there or something? I'm I'm going someplace, guy. Clear. I don't care what you're saying. I I've got to end off this episode. It's going on, uh, or it's about to be 30 minutes. So you're going to chill. Although that means that I'm probably going to do this during the live stream, if I'm going to go ahead and call the recording session here. Well, crap. Eh, whatever. I can do that. Heads up. Uh, oop. Come back here. Okay. Oh, you don't have anything on you? Okay, whatever. That is fine with me. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and end it off. Th Ooh, blue baseball bat. That's interesting. Uh, but that yeah, I'm gonna end it off there for today, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, leave those down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel. Eh, you may want to think about doing that. But yeah, I guess we're going to go to uh, Parsons in the live streamed episode. Maybe. I don't know. Depends. Uh, I guess we'll see. If it makes me go up there, then I'll go up there during the live stream. But if it doesn't, then uh, I guess we'll do it in the next episode, guys. So yeah. I think that's going to be it for today. So again, hopefully you enjoyed. Hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.
Ooh, I found a carrot.